Hey guys, want to know what to do with some leftover meatloaf? I'm going to show you right here with this meatloaf grilled cheese sandwich flat breast. Oh yeah. Make sure you go to my mukbang video where me and hubby Frank mm -hmm, demolish all this cheesy goodness. Oh yeah. Promo STK. Eating good in the neighborhood. And y'all seeing it at Promo SDK, Shella's Creations Way. Mm, mm, mm. Come on and join us as we mukbang this thing. And check me out on Wow App. It's a free app. And guess what? You can earn coins. These are the ingredients. And you guys, that bread... Mm, 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 mm. It's Italian bread. It's all that in a bag of chips. Oh, yeah. Hey, a good grilled cheese sandwich starts with some good grilled cheese. We got some Boar's Head Monterey Jack and some Boar's Head imported Gouda smoked. And it came from Publix. There is this bread, you guys. It's Pano Torano Italian bread. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. You got to, when you grill this baby, you got to make sure you have some extra virgin olive oil that's the leftover meatloaf yeah what can you do with leftover meatloaf i'm gonna show you in the skillet oh yeah all right so in the skillet we have it set on high on our koozie max we're gonna put that extra virgin olive oil in that skillet oh yeah make sure that is hot before we put our bread on there Next, we're going to take our bread. Mm -hmm. And we are going to butter the side of the bread that will be laying down in that pan on that olive oil. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to get some softened butter. And we're going to spread that butter on that good old crusty Pano Tirano Italian bread mm, look at that bread it's long bread we'll see if it'll fit in that skillet we'll do our best we'll make it do what it do all right so we're gonna use butter you can use margarine you can use whatever you want to use to uh be a vegan use your vegan butter and we're gonna spread that butter on that good old bread And make sure you get that butter on every nook and cranny. Every nook and cranny. And now face down. Make sure you swirl it around a couple times to make sure that olive oil soaks into that bread. Now we're going to lather, slather and spread the other side of the bread with that butter, margarine, whatever you want to use. Now we're gonna get the cheese. First, we'll start with the Monterey Jack. And I did get thick sliced cheese. Oh yeah, thick sliced cheese. And as you see, I'm going to be cutting the cheese because the cheese is um, too wide for the bread. But I'm pretty much putting two thick slices of the Monterey Jack cheese on each sandwich and two thick slices of the Gouda, smoked Gouda cheese on 
both sandwiches. So if you go to Publix, you just tell them that you want uh, four thick slices of the Gouda and four thick slices of the uh, Monterey Jack. I'm just making sure that that olive oil is all on that bottom side of the bread. And now I'm slicing up the meatloaf because now it's time for the leftover meatloaf to make its presence known. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. And I did not heat the meatloaf up from my refrigerator because once that hot grilled cheese and the pressing of that sandwich, it's going to all get heated up at one time. And now I'm going to top it with that buttered bread up top, just like so. Just gonna do a little light press and get ready to make the second sandwich. You'll repeat the same steps. Butter size, butter side it goes down. Let's see if we'll make these fit. You can also do these on a griddle, but I decided to use my uh, Koozie Max and do my bread on here instead. Make sure you put that olive oil on that skillet so that that bread gets soaked uh with the olive oil it's about a tablespoon of olive oil on each side once you start the grilling process
Now we'll butter that last piece of bread. Since we're only making two sandwiches, one for me and one for hubby. Hubby Frank. Now let's get the meatloaf. And this one's gonna be mine. Let's top it with that bread. Butter side up. Flip time. Oh, look at that. Look at that goodness. Browned and crispy. Oh, yeah. That's how you want it. You want that crust to be crusty. Oh, yeah. Crusty and crispy bread. Oh, yeah. See that cheese bubbling in that olive oil? Mm, 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 mm. That's some good old cheese.
And as you see, I have my parchment paper now. And then once that first sandwich gets done, I'm just gonna lay that sandwich onto that parchment paper. One out, one to go. Now I'm just flattening that sandwich that I took out. I'm just flattening it down. Almost like a panini press. You see that? Oh yeah. Meatloaf, grilled cheese. Flat pressed. Now we're ready to flip this one over. Oh yeah, look at that. Golden brown and crusty. Now we're just gonna flatten it while we got it in the skillet. putting that extra virgin olive oil on the bottom so that this last piece of the toast can make sure it gets that goodness absorbed in that bread as well. Look at that cheesy goodness. Mm, it was good. I'm just putting the last bit of the butter on the corners of the bread, that's all. Don't forget about the coldest water, shell of 10 will get you in. And check my comment, my description box below. Join me on the WOW app and earn extra coins to put in your pocket. Oh yeah.
gonna get another piece of the parchment paper because we're ready to put that sandwich on that parchment paper and then we're gonna mukbang that thing at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K eating good in neighborhood and I want y'all to join us and when y'all join us become our family subscribe turn that red button gray Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. And there you go. We're ready to eat. Thank you for joining us while I prepared all this goodness. Oh yeah. Step by step. If you guys try what I've just done, let me know. Hit me up in the comment section below. And until the next video, we'll see you there.